Good evening. This is Pastor Omar, your proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Today is Freestyle Fridays. Uh, you never know what's going to happen and what's going to come out of my mouth uh, on Freestyle Fridays. Um, but I'm excited about today. It's been a great day. What you're seeing right now is the cover of a book um, from a conference that I just came out of for the past two days. Uh, and it talked about from the heart of fathers. Uh, let me turn this around and get, and get to talking with you right now. So today uh, was a great day uh, in the world. Good to see you, Rescue. Uh, this is uh, 57408. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am your proactive agent of change. You communicate so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Uh, it's, it's late in the hour here, but I wanted to catch up with you before it turned uh, to be Saturday in my part of the country, uh, in the world. So, good to see you, Shimo. I'm, I'm broadcasting, Shanks, I'm, I'm broadcasting out of uh, Los Angeles, California area. And uh, I had, I've had an exciting week of this week. Um, but I wanted to take an idea from a thought. Uh, that I heard uh, not too long ago. It says that we are drowning in information and we are wisdom poor. We are drowning in information and we are wisd and we are starving for wisdom. Drowning for information and starving for wisdom. So if we saw my hashtag before I started this, it said uh, hashtag Google, hashtag information overload, hashtag um, uh, I think it was information overload. I can't remember what the other one is, was right now. But here's the deal: um, in this in this age that we're in, we could we could we have at our fingertips with our smartphones and with our iPads and technology uh, all the information we will ever need in a lifetime. We cannot read enough of the internet. We cannot um, we can't search enough of books. We have information everywhere. Good to see you, Isaiah Mathis. I'm so glad you're going. Praise God. I'm glad you joined on and got on board. You know who I am. I'm Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am your proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Today is Freestyle Friday with Pastor O. Um, I have a weekly broadcast, and I, week, uh, I broadcast five days a week. On Mondays, uh, my lineup is Mondays Matters, where we, uh, we capsulize all of the weekend issues and concerns into a, a intellectual thought and conversation over uh, over them on Tuesday is table talk with Pastor O. You know, I sit at the table with many people from all over, all over the world and all walks of life, and I share some bits of wisdom and uh, knowledge and understanding out of the tidbits of information that I get from them. On um, Wednesdays, I take up global issues. This is when I pray for our world. And I call it Worldwide Wednesdays, where we we pray, uh, we put a prayer blanket over the whole world and the major issues that are coming up in the world. And on Thursdays, it's a thankful throwback Thursdays where we uh, where we talk about um, we we just we we are grateful to God for all that He's doing in our lives. Then we take some time to actually go into the old style way of looking in the Scripture and preaching and teaching straight out of the ancient scriptures. I use uh, the Hebrew Bible and the Christian Bible primarily to do that. But uh, other influences might come in, maybe the Quran or whatever else is available at that time or, or leads me to go there. So that's on Thursdays. And then on Fridays, there's Freestyle Fridays, like anything can happen, anything matters. Um, I'm a little bit uh, tired because it's been a long day. I started this day way about 4.44 in the morning and now it's about 12, it's almost uh, 11.30 uh, here, uh, and it, but it's been a good day. Oh my goodness, it's been a good day today. Um, I'm I'm dealing with. I'm coming from the topic, and I don't know where we're going to go. If people are coming on and they want to interact, or ask questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to do that. But I just want to share with you today from today from what I have been experiencing today. Here's the thing: um, we are in an information overload. We have more information by way of Google and the powerful search engines that we have in the world than we can ever consume in a lifetime. And that information is growing exponentially daily. But we're also in an age where we are starving for wisdom. Applied Wisdom is applied knowledge and understanding. Uh, the ancient scripture says, wisdom is the principal thing. And all you're getting, get some wisdom. 
But in the opposite, we are living in the opposite time. What we do is we go for the um, the things that our eyes are tantalized. I watch my children and watch young people today, how they're moving around. I went to school uh, to pick up my daughter and everybody in the room, they were all in the room, but the majority of the people were occupied with some type of elect electronic device. God bless you and your family. Thank you. We'll connect again. I'm so glad. Please come back. Check out the, uh, check out my, uh, before you go, check out my catch, catch dot me broadcast catch.me omar a muhammad you can find all my replays and come back and do it so do that at, at your leisure um there's a lot of there uh, inf information there for you to do it thank you for coming on uh for this time inside may god bless you and keep you uh uh in the near future thank you very much god bless you uh, so as i'm sharing today i'm sharing about this whole concept of um being in this information age where the all we are we are, we are surrounded by people but we're stuck in these individual individualized worlds, uh, uh, tapping, t snapping, Instagramming, whatever it is that we're doing. And it seems like some some kind of way we are being taken over. Our attention, our mindset is being taken over by by um, by distractions. So um, the ancient scripture talked about we have the lust of the eye. So if you if you really just one of them kind of freaky deaky horny kind of people, you can get on the you can get on the World Wide Web and you can search up. Things that are, that are fill your eyes forever, and I, the scriptures say that the eye is never tired of seeing. The eye is never tired of seeing. So you can see all day. Sometimes I see people falling asleep with their with their cell phones and computers. They sleep. They've been just 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 looking, 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 searching. That the eye is never tired of seeing. So the lust of, that's the lust of the uh, eye. The lust of the flesh, whatever it is that we kind of desire. You know, some people just shop all day and they go in there shopping. They just enter the. You know, they got to go to Amazon. They got to go to. They got to go to all the books. They got to. They got to find all the sales. And they just on this thing, on these things. I'm talking about a room full of young people and none of them are communicating with each other. They're either uh, playing with um, fighting uh, games in the game world. And the, the, the game world got their minds taken over or they're, or they're tweeting or they got Snapchat. It was one of the strangest things. I We have actually lived in the time that there's a transformation of humanity. We are changing. We are transforming. We are no longer just human beings like we used to be. We are almost like cyborgs today. We have, our, we have um, you know, I, I'm going to tell you, and I, I thought I was, uh, because I'm observing it, because I'm watching it, because I've seen it as it came in, and I thought I was uh, exempt from that. But one day, my phone fell in my uh, my koi fish pond. Well, let me tell you the truth. I put my phone in a koi fish pond because my children told me that my, the phone I had, the Samsung 5, is a waterproof phone. And I wanted to take uh, some pictures of the koi underwater. But when I brought my phone back out, it went, this is it, it, it stopped. No more working. It was black. It wasn't working. And um, so I realized then that I have been, I have become, unbeknownst to myself, absolutely dependent upon my smartphone. Right now, I'm actually broadcasting to you from my smartphone. I do my banking on my front, my front, uh, my um smartphone all of my all of my passcodes which is zillion passcodes and stuff like that all on my smartphone so i realized this is crazy how we've become so i don't even hardly know anybody's phone numbers anymore i can't call anybody by myself i can't even call my own children who i talk to almost every day by way of a smartphone either by texting or by um thing we're in a, in a time now that we're in the same room and we're texting one another can you believe that? Do you understand what is going on with us? We have been programmed and being programmed to be these distracted beings. We are in a sea of information that we can please our eyes. We can see something that tantalizes our eyes all day long with Netflix and all these other kind of things. We can see stuff that, that uh, appeal to our bodies. You know, we can buy things. We can put on clothes. We can, we can, we can do things that, that appeal to our, our, um, our sense of status. We can buy. I, I just heard my son say that everybody at his school, because um, uh, I think it's um, Kanye West is getting ready to put out his new line of shoes. He said everybody in this school is going to put out uh, um, buy some shoes. These shoes cost anywhere from two hundred to five hundred dollars, and and then all they want to do is to say they have some Yeezys on. I'm talking about that status. I mean, young people, and, and it's not. Don't think they're the only one. People, the the, uh, the other people, they want to put on uh, Burberry. They want to put on Coach bags. They want to do all this stuff. They're just trying to add to themselves, not knowing that God created each one of us individually special. The, what is it? The scripture says, "What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, but lose his soul?" And right now, our souls are getting lost. Uh, uh, it's going to be. It's like invasion of the body snatchers. 
Somebody has taken over our mind and, dis and got us so distracted and distorted that we can't hardly even study. We can't even hardly eat without. In fact, I had to make I had to make it a sin in my personal life to take my cell phone into the bathroom with me. Do you know anybody who, who uses their cell phone while they're while they're taking care of their bodily functions? I mean, I, people, I, I, I'm, it's crazy, y'all. So I, I told you. Well, when we're, we're, we're um, Freestyle Friday, you never know where I'm, what's going to happen. I, I don't even know how I got here. But I do know that that information, that, that quote that I started this uh, broadcast with, which said that, what did it say? It said, we are, um, we are drowning in information and that we are starving for wisdom. So I'm praying that God will give us wisdom because the scripture says wisdom is the principal thing. And all I get and get wisdom. And wisdom is applied knowledge. We don't have to always learn everything all by ourselves. We can, we can learn from our elders. We can sit at the feet of, of people. Every, every two weeks, I sit at the feet of a group of men who are 60 and 70 years old. Because, and I'm, I'm, I'm in my early 50s. But I sit at these guys' feet so I can learn from them. I don't want to have to try to learn all this stuff all over again. And I want to give my children an advantage. I want to give them a, da a download of information, a passing on the legacy of information so they don't have to start all over again. And that's what we need. To we need to be wise in our, uh, in our activities, wise in our doing, not just knowing things. We, we can know anything we want. I uh, heard another guy say we have go from the Gutenberg time to Google. Google and all these powerful search engines has allowed us to, to, to search out anything we want to do. But now we have all these decisions. It's like us going into a, a, a restaurant now and the menu is so big, we can't even hardly make a decision. Do you hear what I'm saying? I hope you understand. I'm trying to give you some opportunity to get free. Today, God gave me an opportunity to get free. What, what happened? Let me tell you what happened. Today, I was at a conference with the men, um, uh, with several pastors and their wives at this conference here. I think I showed this at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the um, this periscope broadcast, it is called the Macedonia International Fellowship Bible Fellowship. I went on. I, I was with um, many pa pastors. Uh, um, you might know uh, Bishop Kenneth Ulmer, the um, the long term pastor over at Faithful Central Bible Church in Inglewood, California, and also um, you know so the, I, I, I could name drop, but I don't, I don't need to name drop all on that. But several of these pastors were powerful figures in that you see on national TV and radio. The thing is that what we we, we started our meeting today. We had a, a time what they call a worship where we we adore God, we we reverence God. We but then the next thing after that, we just stopped. We didn't do anything for 45 minutes. We were in absolute silence and non-movement. It was actually one of the best times of my life. Because in that place, I didn't, I didn't touch my cell phone. I didn't look at it. I didn't check my tweets. I didn't check my Instagram. I didn't, I didn't do a Snapchat. I didn't do any of those kind of things that are actually distractions. I don't even know how young people are going to be able to make it. Now, when I sit at the computer, I can't hardly even do my assignment because I, I got all these different kind of notifications. Bing, 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 notifications all day long. Something has gone awry. We are going to have to discipline ourselves. And this is wisdom. We're going to have to discipline ourselves and give ourselves a time to do it. Now, the ancient scripture says there's a time and a place for everything. A, a time to be born, a time to die. Look at Ecclesi Ecclesiastes chapter 3, one of my favorite things. It talks about uh, a song that he's talked about. Turn, turn, turn. And it says there's a time for everything. A time to be born, a time to die. So I think we have to discover that there's a time when we can we can devote some time to tweeting and um, Instagramming and uh, and and right now and updating our Facebook post status. Uh, there's a time for that, and there's a time to shut all that stuff down, to be quiet, to sit down and be quiet, and allow God to upload into us, upload into us His vision, His ideas, His knowledge, His concept for us going forward. So, my friends, I'm not going to stay here long. If there are any questions or anything you want to ask, or ask uh, Pastor Omar, or if you understanding this and you kind of feel this, please show us some love and let, let us know. So, I want you to be free today. I want you to seek wisdom. With all your city, get and get some wisdom. So, let me pray for wisdom. Before I go out of here, I'm going to pray for some wisdom, and I'm going to pray for some discipline for us. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for today. Thank you, Father, for the wonderful day that you've given me. Thank you, Father, for Bishop Kenneth Alma, who today 
claimed me as his son in the ministry my and my wife as his daughter in the ministry and we claim them as our fathers and daughters and uh, fathers and mothers in the ministry thank you for that now I, I ask him I'm asking God that you would give us wisdom knowledge and understanding everybody who checks out this broadcast everybody who comes onto this replay that they will get some wisdom knowledge and understanding that they'll be able to get out stop drowning in the information and that they be able to stand on a solid rock of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Applied wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That they can break free from all the distractions of this world. And they can see you clearly and get a vision for what you had in mind for them when you sent them here on assignment to planet Earth. Thank you for the gifts and abilities that you have already implanted in us. Now I'm asking, Father, that you would draw those gifts and abilities out by, by means of the needs that are around us. Help us, Father, to look around and find out where we can, the needs that we can meet so that we can be a blessing to all those people that we come in contact with. I love you, Heavenly Father, and I know those people on this broadcast who are uh, filled with the Spirit of God love you too. Thank you for that, uh, that person who's just hanging in there and following through with this. I ask that you would bless that individual. And if that, even if that individual never comes out and says, I was there, that, but do, that you would bless them, that you would give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that they would take from this, this little thing that I shared with them today, that we are in, we are drowning in information, but we are starving for wisdom. Feed us wisdom, Father, from on high. And, and I know it's kind of difficult to just do that around other people. So then give us the wisdom to listen to our spouses. Give us the wisdom to listen to our children. Lately, God has been giving me so much wisdom and it's coming from the mouth of my children. My children just walk to me and say different things that blows my mind. I'm saying, who gave you that information? How did you learn that? They said, I learned it from you. I was saying, you did not learn that from me because I didn't even know that. God must have down uploaded into your spirit that kind of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's the kind of time that we're in right now where there could be uploads of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. God wants to so interact with us in, in such a way that we'll be so blessed and encouraged that we will be, it would be like a, a, instead of us uh, uh, being so connected and becoming what I call cyborgs, half a part human, part machine or smartphone or whatever it is, but we will become integrated with the spirit of all creation. We'll become integrated with the, the one who is the one who has the worldwide system in his hand. All the systems are, of, of this world are in the hands of God and some of the systems are in the hands of man. And in our hands with this thing But if we can combine those things We can work together with God and, and find out what God's purpose was for our life We will have a great day So I'm praying that God will give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding Now, I would like for you to do me a favor If you like what you're hearing here Go ahead and, and follow me I'm going to always broadcast to you Good seeds of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding My thing is that I am my, This is my vision statement I am a proactive agent of change who communicate so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. How am I proactive? I'm on this broadcast right here. I'm tweeting. I'm posting. I'm trying to give you all the information in any way I, that I can to break through that 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 big old uh, that big draw of distraction away from anything positive. And there's a whole lot of low-level thinking. Like you can watch the news all day long and you'd be depressed all day. But if you check out any one of my broadcasts, I think you're going to find something that's uplifting, something that is encouraging, something that's going to be a blessing. I'm trying to heal our bodies. I'm trying to heal our minds. I'm trying to heal our souls. I'm trying to be a healer. And I want you to be a healer too because healing is a gift of God which he wants to flow through me and you. So we are proactive agents of change. We are change agents. We're not going to allow things to stay the same. Everywhere we go, wherever we go, whenever we go, we are going to make that situation better just by virtue of our presence being in that area that, did you hear what i said everywhere you go so for now on everywhere you go do something to affect positive change in that environment and if you can't do anything else just send love just send the love that you have in your heart the love that comes from god send that love and it will affect change immediately you don't even have to say i love you but i do think people want to hear that well all you have to do is think love let the love of god come through so i'm a proactive agent of change who communicates who shares who teaches who who does all these kind of things i'm a professor at the king's university i'm a pastor teacher wherever i go i'm a, a, a revivalist you know it's, it's on it's on and popping what god is doing because god has shown me that this is my calling to be a proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed 
that other people might be liberated and other people might be appreciated. That's what I'm called to do. So I'm thankful for you taking the, top, the uh, time to spend some time with me on this Periscope broadcast. If you like it, share it with your friends. Go post it on, um, uh, share, share the links. Go post it wherever you can find it. Go to my, uh, catch.me and get the archives. After the 24 hours, these things go off of Periscope, but it's still archived there. You can go find me on YouTube uh, uh, and find my information there. I'm, I'm there and I'm planting seeds. I'm leaving breadcrumbs so we can find our way out of the distraction and the distortion of this world into heaven on earth. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am your proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Keep your hands clean and your heart pure. You can't go wrong with that. God bless you. I'm out.